A Shave with Parasso Red, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, I'm going to have a shave this morning. I'm going to use my Vikings Blade Emperor Augustus Edition adjustable razor. I'm going to use a uh, Gillette Wilkinson Sword uh, razor blade. I'm going to use my uh, Razor Lock Chrome Synthetic Shaving Brush. I'm going to finish it off with uh, a Shash Allen Block and uh, some Lather and Wood Sandalwood Aftershave Balm. Now, why am I using the Sandalwood Aftershave Balm? Well, it's a scent I happen to have that is pretty close to or in the ballpark of the shaving soap I'm going to use today. Parasso Red. This is a sandalwood scent. Now, uh, they make this, they make the Parasso Red here. It comes in a tub like this. There it is. Brand new from Amazon. And they make this in a shave soap. They also make it in a uh, shaving cream. I happen to get this Parasso Shave Cream at Marshall's for... Uh, $4.99, so that was quite a deal, but uh, same product, uh, packaging might be a little different. I mentioned packaging being a little different because at Marshall's I also happen to get some Parasol Sandalwood Soap, but you can see that the one from Marshall's and the new one from Amazon are different. The packaging's a little different. That branding, the striping there on the label there, that's a little different. The color of the tub from the new one from Amazon is a little darker so uh, I'm assuming that this is a uh, uh, a logo and a color of tub that they have phased out because Marshall's is a discount closeout store where they get a lot of closeouts and uh, things that uh, you know manufacturers and uh, others want to just get out of their inventory so um, this is this is an older packaging, so I don't know if there's going to be much of a difference in the, the actual soap itself um, or other than the packaging. Uh, to my nose, both scents are very, very similar. Uh, now, when you open it up, see, it's a brand new croak, and I'm going to do a face lather, so I'm going to put some hot water on there. But right now, that sandalwood scent is unlike any other sandalwood scent you may have, you may have tried in the past, if you've tried uh, the Art of Shavings Sandalwood Soap or Taylor of Old Bond Street, those are, are a very lively sandalwood scent. This is very organic, very earthy. <laughs> Some have described it as being damp leaves. <laughs> Some have just described it as dirt. It's very woodsy, but uh, it is going to be a very different kind of scent if you are accustomed to Taylor of Old Bond Street or The Art of Shaving or some other sandalwood scents that are out there. This one, as I say, is very organic, very earthy. But we're going to shave with this. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to get some hot water and put it on top of this. And I'm going to let that hot water just soak that up a little bit. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to just drop that in the sink. I'm going to let that soak a little bit. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and load my razor so I'm all good to go when I come back because I'm going to wait for this to set up for about, oh, the equivalent of a good hot shower. I've already had a good hot shower, but I'm going to let that uh, set up a little more. So there it is. We've got the Wilkinson Sword Blade and the razor all set to go. And we are going to set this to, let's see where we're going to set this to. I'm going to set this at six. We're going to start that at six. So I'm all set to go. I'm just going to let this all set up, kind of soak up a little bit, and I'll be back to start to shave. Hang in there with me. Okay, that's the equivalent of a good long hot shower. So I'm going to take this uh, bloom water here. And I'm just going to dump this off. And oh, you know, you got to be careful. Sometimes that puck loosens up in the bowl there and the whole puck will come out. So just, you know, 
You might want to put your finger on top there when you dump that water out just to kind of keep it in. I sometimes do that because I've lost the puck, the <laughs> whole puck in the sink sometimes. Okay, so uh, let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. Okay, get my brush here. I'm gonna wring this out, just a little ring. A little bit of a shake. And I'm gonna go ahead and load this brush. And uh, this is a crope, so it's not gonna take long to load it. It'll cream up very, very quickly. As you can see, it already is. Yeah, already is creaming up very, very quickly, but just a little more of a brush load. Okay. I think that's, I think it's got it. It really does. Yeah, now this, as I say, this is a very, very earthy, earthy sandalwood scent. Very earthy. But boy, it just makes a really nice quick lather. And the, the scent, it really is. <laughs> It is not a perfumey scent at all. It is, it's rather on the rugged side, but I think it's the kind of scent that the first time you experience it, if you've used other sandalwood products, you're going to say, uh-oh, this is not what I like. You really will, you really will be taken aback a little bit, but I think it'll grow on you. That's what I'm saying. And, and I'm having the same, I'm having the same experience. I got to ladder up a little bit higher here because I'm shaving my entire head now. I had a great head shave yesterday. Really, really nice. I waited an extra day to do it. Um, but boy, boy, it was really, really good. Had my share of mix up there since I started the full head shave. Uh, but that's for another video. So we're all lathered up. Got the razor loaded. Let's heat this up. We're at level six. All right. Let's start with the comb side. All right, here we go. Three degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, that's, that's nice and smooth. Boy, there's great glide. There's really nice cushion. I can feel the blade ever so slightly, but it's so smooth. Just really, really nice shave. A lot of nice protection, really a lot of nice protection. Wow, that was quick work. First pass done, let's rinse. Nice first pass, on par with a lot of other first passes. I mean, you know, you take your beard down in the stages, you're not gonna get everything on the very first pass. Usually, for me, the second pass is the money pass. This is where I'll know whether or not my shave is done or whether I'll need a third pass, or whether I'll need some touch up. But the added water on my face really helps to generate more lather. I love synthetic brushes when it comes to shaving soaps and shaving cropes because they just seem to generate a lot of lather. I don't have to dip my brush back into the shaving bowl. 
or the soap bowl rather, to, uh, to reload, I can just spread it on my face and it's done. I mean, look at that, it's beautiful. Matter of fact, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to the tips just to thin it out a little bit. And again, I have to do a little higher, I have to shave a little higher over here on each side because I'm not doing the, uh, I, I never had much of a sideburn, but still, I want to make sure that's clean shaven to match the head shave. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. All right, so here we go. We're going to we're gonna set this to, uh, let's take it down just to five because that was so nice and smooth. And we're going to go east to west across the grade. Okay, so here we go. I have to remember to go up here a little higher. There we go. A lot of slickness there. You know, even though there's some areas where the sh where you might not see the cream on camera, there's still some slickness, which is why I'm just doing a little bit, just going back over uh, again. You don't really have to do that. When you do a wet shave, once the cream has been removed, move to the next area. But sometimes with some soaps and creams, they have that little bit of residual slickness that lets you go back and kind of get it. But, you know, when you first, or, <clears throat> when you first start out, the rule of thumb should be just once it's shaved, move to the next area that has cream. Wow, that's a, <laughs> that's a nice shave. Boy, that is really, really nice. Okay, very maneuverable getting underneath the nostrils and get those little those little bits right there. Really, really nice. Just kind of you can just get right up there. I mean just really it's just very, very easy. Alright, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse. I'm done. <laughs> two passes and I'm done. That was a beautiful two pass shave. That was really, really nice. Wow. That is, there's a lot of slickness, a lot of protection. It just gave me a really nice closed shave. Now it helps that I have an adjustable razor to where I can modify and adjust the, uh, the aggression of the razor. So six seems to be the top end for most uh, adjustable razors that are one from nine. That seems to be a top end for me for aggression because my skin does border on the sensitive side. But boy, that was that was nice. So starting off with six, coming down to five, boy, that's nice. And nice and smooth, really, really nice and smooth. That's the one thing. But boy, this Parasso Red, this is nice. And the scent, will grow on you. I am starting to really love the scent. This is like my, I think this is my second shave with, the second or third shave. I use the Marshalls Parasso to start out with 
And uh, both soap scents are the same. I've seen online where some people say the, the newer version is a little more subtle. I don't see much difference. But uh, it'll grow on you, really. All right, so here's my uh, final two rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Oh, that's nice. That was great. Ha, what a nice shade. Here's my cold water rinse, water good and cold. I think that's one of my favorite parts of the wet shade is that cold water rinse. It really wakes you up. Really stimulates you. Oh boy, that was nice. Boy, that was a terrific shave. That was really, boy, I love Parasso. I like the green and I like the, uh, the white, the Parasso green, which is the eucalyptus and menthol. Boy, that's got a kick. And the Parasso white is for sensitive skin. That's really nice. A lot of nice protection with that one. But the sandalwood, I think I'm a new fan. And as I say, the scent is a rather abrupt change from what you may be have what you may have been using with other sandalwood soaps and creams. Uh, just looking at different reviews and reading different opinions online, uh, there are some wet shavers who say that this is a real sandalwood scent, and that the others are just. Um, uh, a little more cologne-like, a little more perfumey, but this is a real sandalwood scent. I don't know one way or the other. I know that I do like the Art of Shaving sandalwood. I like Taylor of Old Bond Street sandalwood. I'm liking this sandalwood scent. I think it's very good. Here's my Shash Allen block. Let me get some feedback. Run it under some cold water. Here we go. Nice and smooth. Smooth as ice. Maybe one or two small, small, little micro zings. Nothing, <laughs> nothing really heavy handed. Just a nice, smooth, comfortable shave. Two passes and I was done. That's absolutely wonderful. I think that speaks to the the efficiency of not only the razor, but how great this soap is. All right, so we're just going to put that in there like that. All right, I'm going to mop up a little bit. I'll be right back to finish up the shave. Hang in there with me. Okay, that's it. I mean, that's like 95% dry. Synthetic brushes, are wonderful. I love using synthetic brushes, especially with shaved soaps and cropes. Uh, they do a great job of generating lather and they clean up so easily. Uh, I have Bore and Badger brushes, but I think I have more of the synthetic and uh, love using them. Really, really great. If you don't have a synthetic brush, you know, get a nice one. This is a nice one. Razor Rock Chrome Brush. Heavy handle though. Very, very heavy handle. But um, really, synthetic brushes are really, really terrific. Uh, the Vikings Blade synthetic brushes are very nice. Yaki synthetic brushes. AP Shave Company. Um, boy, a lot of nice synthetic brushes out there. Okay, so we'll put that aside. Let's finish off the, uh, the shave here with some lather and wood sandalwood. Now this sandalwood is not gonna be in this. It'll be probably in the same ballpark as the uh, sandalwood shave soap that I just used from Parasso, but we'll just put a little bit here. Oh, I'm getting low. Is that it? I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's all I have. Okay. Well, that's it. That's all I have. Oh, that's enough. That was in the same ballpark. You know, I'm going to open this. I'm going to unscrew this and just grab some off the tube here and just there we go. Pop it off like that. Pump's not working entirely. Okay, so this is going to be for upstairs. There we go. Yeah, that's it.
Okay, fumble recovery. <laughs> Great shave. Really, really terrific, terrific shave. Uh, this Parasa Red is a really, really nice, terrific shave soap. This is really, uh, boy, the, all the Parasa shave soaps are wonderful. But uh, I love the protection, I love the slickness, I love the glide. Really did a great job in giving me a wonderful, wonderful shave. And again, the scent is going to be a little more abrupt, different if you've used other sandalwood scented creams and soaps. This one is earthy, it's organic, it's woodsy. Uh, it really is a more rugged sandalwood kind of scent but it is starting to grow on me and uh, I like it, I enjoy it. I will be using this shave soap again. Very, very nice. Gave me great protection, really nice slickness. Uh, yeah, I like it, Paraso Red. Uh, sandalwood scented shave soap. Really, really terrific, terrific stuff. Check it out, I think it's just, it's just a wonderful soap as is all of the Paraso line of shave creams and shave soaps. And on Amazon it's only 10 bucks. You can, if you're lucky enough to have a Marshalls nearby, you can get it for five if they have it on closeout. So, uh, really, just a terrific, terrific shave. So, all right, hey, that's it. That's all I wanted to mention to you. Thanks very, very much for uh, tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share. Uh, please subscribe. Please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below, let me know. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic from George. Other cartoons, other videos like this, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Radio where you'll find all the products I review on this channel. Organized and categorized, you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon. Thank you.